Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally for yet another episode of looking into God's word and looking at the wisdom that is there in the book of Proverbs and uh, following it. Uh, I'm reading from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Is acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. So We see a set of instructions here and we also see the end result of following that instruction. Um, So it says here, trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord your God. And how are we called to trust? How are we called to put our confidence and to be sure of, um, of our God and of the instruction that he gives us and of the direction that he gives us? We are called to trust him with all our heart. So not holding back anything, not superficially, but wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly with our innermost being, which means that emotionally we are invested, uh, rationally we, we think about it, and wholeheartedly with our innermost being, we are called, we are invited to trust in the Lord. And the other part of that instruction is lean not or don't, uh, rely or don't lean or don't rest on your own wisdom, on your own knowledge and your own experience. Now, the knowledge, the wisdom, the experience that we have is definitely valuable. The the learning that we have acquired over the years is definitely valuable. And, uh, but the instruction here is lean not on your own understanding which means in your evaluation, do not consider your understanding to be superior to God's instruction or to God's leading. So lean not on your own understanding. The next instruction is in all your ways, acknowledge him. In your choices, in your considerations, in your decisions, in your path of life, acknowledge him know and recognize him, check with him or refer to his voice. In all your ways, acknowledge him, recognize him. And the end result is this, and he shall direct your paths. The word direct, you know, is is interesting. It, It not just means, you know, pointing to a destination, but it also means straighten make straight, make things pleasant, make the steps proper or even prosper, prosperous. So the Lord will direct our path. He will direct your path, your course of life. And for him to direct in this manner, to set it right, to make it firm, to to make it proper, to make it pleasant, The instruction is to acknowledge him in all our ways, in all our choices, in all our decisions, and to trust him with everything within us. The Lord is looking forward for us to live in this manner. He's inviting us to participate in, he's inviting us to experience the power of his word today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that You have invited us to live in this manner, God, to trust in you with all our heart, to acknowledge you in all our ways, God. And Lord, we thank you for the promise that we have, O God, that you will direct our paths. We thank you that today you are available, you are directing our paths, you are making things proper. And I pray that even for those who are listening, that there will be a straightening, that there will be a a setting in place of each one of our parts. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.